to get the Brighton yesterday. Hey, what's up, K9? I was able to get the Brighton yesterday. So what I'm trying to figure out right now is the best setup to use it because streaming it around, shooting it around is not the most effective way to get it to help you kill things and win stuff. Um, what I'm, I'm noticing is if you do burst taps with it, the flame travels across the screen slowly, but when it hits people, it does a little fire damage and does like 300. Um, and then if you pair it with a heavy, and if you had high scavenger or bracer of dedication, you're able to then have that help you as you get your kills. Because right now I'm using the dispatch. I was trying to use the renegade, but the renegade doesn't have a heal. So the, the build that I'm running right now, if the mods stay, because the mods keep resetting, which is super annoying, um, is the dispatch with a sadism. Um, the ability I'm running is catalytic heal because it has an overdrive for a speed boost. It's not the best heal, but it's a good heal to get in one shot. Like, so you get like a, you get almost 2000 with one heal. So I'm using that. I was trying to use the, the healing totem, but it's just not enough. The DPS, the damage per second that you're taking versus the damage um, per second that it's healing isn't fast enough. It's just, you get blown up. There's nothing, it doesn't help you. So I switched off of that. Uh, the ability I keep have the problem I keep having is my heavy mod does not stay so every match I got to keep coming back and doing this so like I was playing a game before I had to leave and go do this because I forgot to reset it But that's what I wanted to be most of the time um, The trinket I'm using is race of dedication because I need When I get kills with the flamethrower or with the heavy I get ammo back because What's happening is your flamethrower works more like your heavy weapon, like it's keeping people away, or it's a more of a support weapon, or a, a damage dealer or a damage amplifier, and your real weapon that's going to be doing more of the kills or getting you the faster kills is going to be your heavy. So I'm running through a series of heavies right now trying to figure out which ones to play. I haven't tried Triflame yet, and I haven't tried Art Mantra yet, um, because those are real strong, but Brace of Dedication should help keep me ammoed up as I get kills. So if I get two or three kills in a row, I still should be able to have ammo. So that's literally the calculation I'm trying to do. Find a build of a heavy weapon that can help, that can shoot pretty fast and you can get pretty quick if you get kills that can stave off people. So Avalanche might be a decent one. Heretic might be a decent one. So I'm just running through them right now. Right now I tried Renegade, it's okay. Um, but I prefer the dispatch because I also have a heal on top of that. So that's what I'm trying to build out. Build out a, a, a heavy sustained build. No mods for it yet. And right now, after the initial campaign rewards and stuff like that, it's super hard to get um, quints besides in your daily. So my quints are dropping precipitously. So I'm going to have to let that build up into like 15,000 before I start using it again. So Star Chest is completely out for a while. Um, the thing I'm going to probably be using the most is the rotating chop. Um, I have a 10,000 boost coming up. I might get another demi loon. I got to check out what the demi loon infusion track is. I don't know what you get for it. So I got to pay attention to that. Um, the quest. Me? Oh, I'm not the harvest quest. Drives the, chosen. the 10 shards is the one I had just gotten the I had just gotten the Brighton from. From what I'm understanding is, it's not what I thought. It's literally, um, Zcant came into the chat and said, Nami fixed it. So now when you get fallen stars while playing Heart of the Moon, you're gonna get the 10 fallen stars um, quest completed. I know that's heavy damage output, but my big problem that's gonna, that's gonna be for me is I like having ammo and the problem I'm noticing with the with the Brighton is the Brighton is not a good gun for killing people it's good for setting up damage or, or taking out people with little little health bars or very little health left but like taking it to take down people that's not good for me I need a gun that consistently gives me that damage that's why BOD makes more sense for me 
it's it's a it's a thing that I like to have. I like having ammo for my heavy if my heavy is gonna become my primary. So that's just the way it works in my head. I, I'll I'll sacrifice damage for ammo, which is what I do all the time. I always sacrifice damage for ammo because to me ammo is more important than damage. And the reason it works really well, specifically in this build, is every time I shoot the dispatch, I heal. Because another thing I'm starting to think that might be an interesting thing to add into that build, maybe the Finlay with the, what do you call it? The Warborn Amulet and this heal, maybe that might be something that might work out. Because every time I fire the Finlay, every shot that comes out, that's a heal. So that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to create a nice, heavy, sustained build with it. I'm one that provides a lot of health and a lot of ammo. I'm gonna be right back for a second. I wanna see 